And now I am joined here by Councilwoman for District 1, Ms. Karen Hiller. We're already talking about <laughs> what we're going to be discussing today because we're excited. So a huge decision was made last night, Southwest 32nd and Topeka. So what is going on there? And I know that you guys are working in connection with the developer out of Missouri for this too, for this project, right? So tell me what's, what's happening. What are the big changes going on there? Well, you know, the, the council set up what they called the South Topeka TIF mm -hmm. district to attract people have been working for years on South Topeka Boulevard, set up that TIF financing incentive district to just put the word out there that we're open for business and we're ready. Yeah. And, and we did approve the first one last night for both for demolishing the buildings that mm -hmm. have existed on that site, but there's been a lot of vacant property on that site at 30, 32nd and Topeka. And they have the, the map shows two pads for restaurants and they confirmed last night that those two restaurants are still on deck and close to closing and then developing a little strip mall there too. They were really excited. You know, it was fun. The, the actual owner developer is a father and, and young son team. They were there too to meet everybody. There's just a lot of good energy about what's happening there. It sounds like it. there's yeah. a lot of good excitement about that as well. And I know that there's, you know, decisions that have been made on the capital improvement budget as well last night. So do you mind speaking to what kind of came about with those discussions? Well, you know, the capital budget is not as much fun. As, <laughs> not uh, as much fun as, as new but, restaurants. But, but, you know, we're grinding through <laughs> that and we've got great staff. And so you asked about the, the, mm -hmm. the water and sewer budgets and yes, they're really those not too sexy, right? <laughs> but millions of dollars. Yes. But but what what people don't see is working on those routines to be yes, just as cost effective as possible to get that out. And so they got their full water sewer budget, stormwater budget, and then on the geo and you know streets, mm -hmm. um, sidewalks side, we did um, we did basically approve that budget. But one of the things that we did was said, look, it's time to get okay. these annual expenses into the operating budget. We got a commitment for $2 million of that, and we'll keep going because expenses are 40% up. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing anybody doesn't want to do, but we've got to figure out how to best manage those dollars. Of course. So it, was, it, was, it was good. Some good provisos. Um, some good energy. Some productivity, it seems like. Well, we're good. going into operating budget, so that challenge to get that <laughs> stuff moved over is on the table. Yes, ma'am. Well, <laughs> and I know the city has, a, we, we've talked a lot about this already. Hotel Topeka, you guys have made, you got the winning bid, $7.6 million for that. When are next steps starting on that? And, and, you know, can you tell me anything about what you guys are doing so far? You know, I can't tell you much, so, so invite us back. What I know is that the team started immediately the day after in working on the particulars. You know, this was something that was a great interest to the county as well. And so we need some time to get back with them and say, all right, um, there had been some plans that they had, the mm -hmm. city had discussed about really finally turning that whole complex into a full-blown convention center. Mm -hmm. So before we go and get the, the flag for the hotel, you know, we need to get the right manager into that hotel, not just for the hotel, but for where we're going with it. So those conversations are already going. Again, pretty bold move, right? Yeah. But, but the idea was this is important to everybody in Topeka. You know, you, you got to fix streets, but then periodically there's a strategic investment that makes sense. Yeah, and no, totally. We're not wanting to be hotel owners. <laughs> Uh, operators really? ever <laughs> uh, so you know there's but you have to take a first step of so course I know underway. we had Shawnee County uh, Commissioner Aaron Mays on and he said he's of course really excited that you know the commissioners are really excited to be working with you guys to right. ensure the success of that building I mean is, is the council feeling the same way you guys are excited to get started on that I, I think so you know you're kind of scared it's like <laughs> what what do we just do and lots of people are asking that question but at the end of the day, it was important for Topeka to make sure that that hotel didn't sit. Mm -hmm. um, when you can't even attract statewide conventions anymore because they're not sure that there's going to be a functioning hotel in the Expo Center that we just put $50 million of taxpayer money into, it's kind of a no-brainer that, that we need to circle around it and make sure it, it flies, really. Yeah, that it's, those, it's succeeding. That brings mm -hmm. That brings transient guest dollars, that brings sales tax dollars, that brings people who discover Topeka and decide they want to work and stay here. It ultimately brings people to Topeka, exactly. and that's what we want. Exactly. And lastly here, I want to talk about the second year of the mowing initiative. How are things going so far? What is, what is the latest? What can you tell me? Well, things are putting along. <laughs> I, <I'm> uh, <laughs> 
But You're what killing I, it this morning, Karen. And so really have are. us back for a full report on how the season is going. What I, what I particularly want to say right now is we've got 15 people signed up on that United Way website mm -hmm. who need help with mowing. And so if there are viewers that were thinking about it, whether they just want to volunteer to mow one yard. One yard makes a difference. One yard one time or one yard maybe for somebody mm -hmm. who needs it for the season or they've got a group that wants a service project and they want to spend a whole morning and they want to move four yards or whatever <laughs> it is, if they call that 368-9530 number and tell them who they are and what they want to do, we'll get them signed up because those 15 folks need a mo right now. Yeah, and those 15 oh. folks can make a huge difference. Absolutely, right, because it, it can be the one on the block, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or the one, yes, or make a difference in somebody having the confidence that they can do it. Yeah. They just needed somebody to show them how to operate their lawnmower. A little bit of or a Or whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Councilwoman Karen. You were a hoot to speak to this morning. <laughs> I love it. Love the energy. Um, it's definitely very nice to get some clarification on some of these topics. So All right.